Hi guys, I'm going to start off with talking about protection, okay? There's different levels of protection we're going to speak about. Um, I honestly started the first two videos first because I thought I was going to do it at a different time. But since it's such a calming energy in the house, it's basically sleep. I want to just go ahead and knock out these two first ones, you know. And you know I'm going to do my thing where it's being done in a certain order so that things don't come off too strong, okay? So the first um, protection, we're going to talk about spiritual protection. Um, I'm choosing not to show all of my forms of protection simply because of evil eye. And speaking of evil eye, you have these bracelets. There's also evil eye emojis. It looks like it's dark blue on the outside and it has little circles in it. That is evil eye. It's protection from evil eye. Have you ever walked in a room and you felt uncomfortable for no reason and you couldn't understand why it, you feel uncomfortable doing certain things that you usually do anyway? It's because somebody wants you to feel that way. That's how strong energy works. You can easily pick up someone else's energy without even realizing that you do. And what I like about this evil eye, it also has an owl on it, okay? The owl sp speaks about secrets and the unknown, okay? And being a seer. So anything that you wear on you, whether it's a tattoo, whether it's your jewelry, whether it's what's around you, please know that energy that it represents is attached to you too, okay? So, I want to show you another crystal. I always keep this crystal with me. I had this for about a year or so. Okay. I have this. Um, I want to say it's called a black. I can't remember the name of it. I'm going to be honest with you. Because the shapes are different from any other type of crystal you will see. But what I like about it, because I, I remember what it does. You can always sleep with this crystal. Tuck it women tuck it under your titty or you, for men or you just like that type of person that do that um you can always put it under your pillow okay but if you wear it all day any negative energy that someone sends your way it instantly picks it up and as it picks up it lightens up see i just been there for couple minutes i haven't worn it on my body for a long time but just let you know the more see-through it is the more intense of the energy that someone may possibly have seen or several people or groups okay so that just let me know i need to keep it more so for me on me i usually just keep it in my purse and i take it with me everywhere i go now i also have um i keep rose quartz and um clear quartz and I have an emissary. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing these things right, but I had it for so long, guys. Y'all know what I mean. Um, <laughs> I keep those crystals um, different places in my life, okay? But I always have a crystal somewhere nearby me, always. Also, um, Florida water, Jinx remover, and envy protection those things will take you so far okay because people people are supposed to understand that you may not know where the energy is coming from but it doesn't mean it's not there okay so those are things that they can help protect you know um, yourself on a regular daily basis um, they also have herbs places you can go they got herbs you sprinkle on your carpet and you sweep your floor up and you s scoop it up and you, and you toss it out because you know especially if you have a lot of traffic in your home you want to make sure that you bless your home all the time Okay, I know that y'all have heard of sage, but I also um, keep some Palo Santos holy wood as a form of saging. 
uh, sage, what a lot of people don't know is sage does, don't get me wrong, remove negative energy, but it also removes positive energy. So in other words, you are resetting everything around you. So when you are burning sage, you make sure that your intentions are always good and positive. Always. Because that's the energy that you bring it in. Palo Santos is a little different. Palo Santos only gets rid of the negative energy. So any positive energy that you already have in room, it will remain there. Another way that you can always protect your home, um, black salt. Black salt is good. Um, black salt, staging around your doors, and I want to say crush brick, but black salt. You know why? Because you will know. I don't know. My, I can't say crush brick, y'all. So please don't hold it to me. I have to do some more research when it comes down to that. But I know that black salt and sage and those polysantos, those things can protect protect your door, protect your yard, your driveway, and stuff like that. You kind of know who has good energy because they wouldn't stand outside of your home or get so irritable when they're in your home or get so irritable in your yard or you know they are comfortable being around you because they carry good intentions positive energy okay so that wraps that up for the spiritual growth of protection okay i can go on and on and on um even when you take a spiritual bath, um, sea salt should always be incorporated, okay? Because it purifies the water, which means it purifies the energy. Um, you can also transmute your energy, hugging a tree, getting grounded, walking barefooted outside, um, keeping chakra bracelets too. This is not a chakra bracelet, but they do have chakra bracelets. And let me tell you, it basically lets you know, you know, what part of your life that you have conquered through your chakras, if you understand how chakras work. You know, you have seven here, and then you have them. Um, on your hand as well it's kind of like when you hold your hand like this right get it real real close then pull back and try to push back then go further do you feel the force the wider you get the more resistance you feel you are charging the chakras on your hand Um, so far that I know is a total of 27 chakras on your body 27 okay so um, I have heard in my there are chakras in your feet but you have to do research about that okay I don't know a little bit about palms but not too good you know what I'm saying I have to do some more digging on that. I have, I don't know. It had to be a real good, someone had to really like, okay, I'm going to look into it a little bit more. I have, but I don't want to get too far. I feel like I'm getting off track. Let's go to the second form of protection, and that is sexual protection. Okay, the next form of protection um first and foremost always make sure that you stay on top of your clinic annuals and stuff like that your checkups all right always make sure you do that also always make sure that you are balancing the amount of water you put in your body um reason why i say that because most water waters although they are purified they have um more a lot of acid in it 
you know, if you look at the scale from the acid, neutral, and then alkaline. That's why you have to put in a proper balance of alkaline in your diet as far as water is concerned because you want to balance, continue balancing the pH throughout your whole body, especially in the JJ area, okay? And you know you type person that drinks a lot of water, you know, and also help with secretions down there whenever you are having relations, intercourse. You know. um, I'm not going to get too deep about this because I believe I did a whole video on this. The reason why, um, as far as condoms and stuff like that, safe sex is always the best sex, all right? There's different kinds of, you know, condoms. I actually got these from the clinic. Um, they give you a whole bunch of them. <laughs> um, if you're not comfortable with latex, you're allergic to latex, you can always get lambskin. Lambskin work just damn near better because, you know, it's skin. And it's, no, it don't have fur on it. It's just lambskin. Okay, it's, it's thinner um, material. I can't even say it's latex because it's not. Okay, some people are highly sensitive, you know, to latex or the spermicide on the latex. Okay, when it's not in these condoms, and they start having vaginal itchiness. Okay, and don't nobody want to be walking around doing this shit here squeezing their damn thighs together and moving around acting like they don't want to get down there when because they're afraid that people think they got crabs just being honest okay not realizing that they may possibly have a high level of sensitivity down there that they you know need to use a different brand and i believe trojan has skin to skin or something like that if you're not comfortable with um lamb skin but i don't know if it's latex or not so don't make sure you read the box if you decide to choose a different option okay also guys um i understand um everything that's happening i want people to understand this too if you know you cannot afford children and you know that you're having unprotected sex or if you're having sex at all Please make sure, okay, that you know that every time you lay down with a person, you're taking a chance of getting pregnant by that person. So you need to be aware and be mindful of who you sleep with because, you know, at the same time, you are held responsible if you, if you gave some form of consent to have relations with that person. Now, if it was a situation where it wasn't consent, they would tell you right now, it's best that you not only take proper actions by getting um, the law involved when it comes down to your body and how you've been violated, also go to the clinic immediately so that it can be in the record or file that that has taken place because they go through a whole procedure just to make sure that, you know, if there was any tears, rips, or cause any, you know, to check all that, all right? So make sure that you do that. If you're in a situation where you're pregnant or you don't know if you got pregnant in this situation, this is the reason why these are here, plan B's, and then you got the after this, okay? My biggest suggestion to people um, is to, especially women, and you're not ready to have any more children, you know, these you need to have on deck period have them on deck <clears throat> i'll tell you why because unfortunate situation does take place okay um and you know you're not in a position to have any more children but something happened where your body was violated by someone okay that's where this come in at. and if you already have it, you don't have to worry about it, okay? Um, just don't, this is the thing. It's good to have this, but don't think this is a form of protection from any HIV or STDs or herpes or warts and stuff like that. I have worked in the medical field long enough 
long enough to tell you this, what I'm telling you. So even if you um, are a person that's having um, sex and you got these, make sure you have some condoms too. Okay? If it's a situation where you're violated, take proper precautions. Make sure you have this on deck. If you know you got an extra $60 sitting somewhere, you know, it's around that season. So, you know, you got that bonus check or something like that. Pull something or take some, a little bit of something out so you have something like this in case something happens. If you can't afford $60, you know, it's cool. They got afterwards. They do the same exact thing. They like first cousins to each other. Okay, they do the same exact thing. This one costs thirty dollars. Okay, three tens, a twenty and a ten. However you want to do it, thirty ones. Just make sure you add on the tax according to your state that you're in. Okay, so if you want to um, know about further information as far as protecting yourself. Um, sexually, I do have a video for that down in my portfolio, so please check that out on the Instagram page. Um, also, I want y'all to know that um, don't just stop at getting a plan B. If something bad happens, because it is not a good thing when someone is violated, but please, please, please. It is not a bad thing to try to seek some type of psychological help so that, you know, and let me tell you, even if you go to a clinic or a physician or something, they're going to give you a list of numbers to call. It's still a choice. Nobody's going to judge you for it. Something like that happens to you. I hate that it happened. I really do. I hate that it happened. I wouldn't even want that happening to my worst enemy. I don't care. Man or woman. I wouldn't want nothing that disgustingly gross to happen. And you know why? Because I'm a woman and my son is a boy. I have no choice but to look at things from a man and a woman perspective. And a mother in perspective. So all that runs together. And to add on, before I go on to the last two videos, clips of protection, I want y'all to know, in each one of these things that I'm talking about, always have a prayer life. No matter what. I don't care if you're sitting at the light. You just say, what's up, God? Or somebody say, oh, I'll give you a trick. It's on me. And I'm talking about, I ain't talking about like just at the bar or something. You know, even though it's nothing wrong with drinking, just can't get drunk. Don't overindulge. But what I'm saying is somebody do something nice for you. Okay? Thank God. If you get through thanking them, make sure you give gratitude to the man upstairs. But always have that relationship. No matter what you do. Let's move forward.